Hey guys, so today we are applying the speed ramping effect to the titles in Wondershift Umora 12 to achieve something like this. So let us get started. Just a moment before that, here is a quick message from the sponsors of today's episode. Wondershift Umora team, there is an opportunity for you to join Fumora achievement program. And in a few seconds, I'm going to show you how you can do this. So the first thing is to sign up before you start and make sure you upgrade to version 12.5.5. And here you can enter your details to sign in. And now you can check out this program to see more information. Step number two, stay curious. You can check out each base learn more option to see the tasks and the rewards. After you've unlocked, you can share your milestones on social media. The tip 3 is about collecting your rewards. Click the My Reward option to check out all the rewards. You can view and redeem your rewards after unlocking the badges. Join Fimora Achievement Program to earn badges and to unlock the exciting rewards now. So the very first step right here guys is to add a quick text from here. And in my case, I'm going to extend the text duration and make it a little longer. Now my friend right here, you can write anything you want all according to your projects. Right here, I double click and go to the text properties. And here, I will choose this preset. Of course, you can't see it right here because it's on the black. There is blank on the background. There is nothing. So you cannot see how does this preset look like. And after that, I will go advanced. Here, I just want to make sure that the opacity of the outline is on 100%. And if you do the same customizations, like if you are adding the outline on your text, Let's make sure it's on 100%. Then we apply. So right here, I'm going to do some few customizations. Again, these are all according to your project. I will change the scale. And I will change the font. So just to match up exactly what I've shown you on the intro, I will split this text into four. So very quick right here, I want to write something which is different in these two texts. So our next step right here guys, before we start speed ramping our titles, is to apply the animations. And there are different ways that you can do this in Wondershift Umora. For example, let us say you want to do the keyframing. It's very simple, you just double click your file, go on the video right here and add a keyframing just for a short example. Increase the scale. Another keyframe is automatically added. And now you can see the scaling animation is applied. But here in my case, I'm not going to use the keyframing. I'm going to use this animation right here as well as this one right here. So just as I said earlier guys, I am doing this so that I can match up with what I have shown you on the intro and that is the reason why I'm customizing all the four titles. So right here on the face, I would like to apply the zoom in to the right or zoom in to the left. It's all right as well. Right on the second one, I will look for this one, which is the clockwise rotation. Zoom in one. I think this will save as well. On the third, I go to these animations right here and choose this one, which is the down up two. the last one I go back right there and look for this one which is the zoom in so the next thing I'm going to do right here guys is to select all of my titles and leave them one trick above after that I go to stock media and then look for a green screen image drag it down under all of my titles Now I select everything in the timeline and then use X on my keyboard to export only this part. Okay, so right here I'm going to bring down the video that we've just exported. And right here I would like to remove these black portions right here using the alignment of the clips below. 
After that, I'm going to select this one below here and delete them. Now, double click and go AI tools. And here you select the chroma key. And after that, we have to copy the effects of this first clip and then paste it on the rest. Now, after that, I go to stock media and find something that I can put behind my text, like this video right here. So I'm going to multiply it so that I can fill the space. And now, this is the final step. Double click your clip and go to the speed. And right here, you can select the speed ramping. I would advise you right here to make your own customizations or else you may have your own presets. For example, I've got this my presets right here, which I'm going to show you as an example as well. So here's the preview of my own preset. And of course it's not smooth, so I'm going to, so I'm going to render it. And here it is. So you can still do the customizations from here, which is going to give you the options to work out the way you want. So this is the trick that I have for you guys today, which you can use to apply the speed ramping effect on your titles in Wondershare Fumora 12. So if you have other tricks, you can let me know in the comments. And that is going to help the rest of the community.